This is an introduction to the conservation of momentum. The conservation of momentum states that in the absence of a net outside force on a system, the total momentum is conserved. Let's revisit Newton's second law as it applies to momentum. The net force on an object is equal to the rate of change of momentum of that object with time. The momentum of an object is defined as the product of its mass times its velocity. When there is a net force on an object, then its velocity and hence its momentum will change. This is true for any object, as long as the force considered is acting on the object, not by it. But what if, between two objects, the outside force is by the other object? then Newton's third law will apply. The force exerted on one object by a second object is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the force exerted on the second object by the first object. If for the duration of the interaction between the two objects all other forces can be neglected, then we can combine Newton's third and second laws such that the rate of change of momentum of one object will equal the negative of the rate of change of momentum of the other. By definition, the objects are interacting in a shared time. Therefore, we can cancel that out and we will see that the change of momentum of one object is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the change in momentum of the second object. We can now expand out the expressions for momentum and with a little algebraic rearrangement we arrive at a nice symmetric equation.
the final result is that the total momentum of the two objects before the interaction will equal the total momentum of the two objects afterwards. If there are more than two objects, you can mathematically prove that as long as all interactions are among them and all outside forces are negligible, this law still holds. Here is how you can simulate this using the Collision Lab Simulator. Go to Advanced, keep it two-dimensional, uncheck the reflecting border as to eliminate any outside force to the system. Instead of velocity vectors, let's display momentum vectors. Turn on the momentum diagram. And play the simulation. Keep an eye on the orange arrow here in the corner, which is the vector sum of the two momentum vector of these objects. Notice that while the individual momenta change for the objects, the total momentum of the system remained the same. This will even be true for inelastic collisions. If you have a system of more than two balls, and you make them collide, watch the momentum vector yet again. Again, the total momentum remains the same. However, if we introduce an outside force to the system, and make the objects interact first with each other, but then with it as well, then that outside force will continue to change the total momentum of the system.